<sighs> Welcome all and thank you for watching another Technology Made Basic video. Uh, in this video we're going to go over some troubleshooting steps that we can do to uh, fix some of the Windows updates uh, issues that, that's occurring with uh, Windows 10. So to start what we're going to do is we're going to download the Windows Update Troubleshooter. So I got the uh, link here. I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these, uh, these links in the description. Go ahead and open up your browser. Let's paste it in the address bar. And once we navigate to the uh, Microsoft website for the uh, tool, we're going to go ahead and click on the link where it says download and run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Once you have that downloaded, it typically will just by default go to your downloads folder. I, I place it on my desktop here. Let's go ahead and open that up. Just double click it. And what it's going to do, it can, it, it's got two options. You can do a Windows Network Diagnostics or a, a regular Windows Update uh, check. Let's go ahead and highlight that. You do have the option to go into Advanced here and unchecking where it says Apply Repairs Automatically so it doesn't just uh, do it automatically and also run as administrator. So uh, you can go ahead and click there. Check Windows Update. Click Next. And it's going to scan some of the services and some of the uh, files on your computer to find out what's causing the... Uh, Windows Update Service not to run properly or what's giving you the error message. And oftentimes this it's just as simple as downloading this tool, running it, and uh, it'll correct the issues that you're having. But sometimes it's not going to find anything at all. So you may get this where it says troubleshooting, couldn't identify the problem. So that's uh, that's one tool that we have our, at our uh, disposal. Go ahead and close that. The next thing we can do is do a disk cleanup. So let's do that by going to our local C drive. Uh, let's open up uh, File Explorer. I have it right here on my taskbar, but if you don't, uh, the easy way to get to it is uh, if you do a right click on the start button, it's going to bring up the alternate start menu. Just click on File Explorer and go to this PC on the left hand side, and it's going to be the uh, local disk drive that we want to use. So go ahead and right click over the local disk drive, click on properties in the drop down menu. Once you have that open, what we want is this disk uh, cleanup option. Just go ahead and click on that. And that's going to just check your system to see what it can uh, clean up. And what we want to check is where it says temporary internet files. Uh, that's the box that we want to make sure that we that we have checked. So once you have that checked, go ahead and uh, click where it says clean up system files. And what that's going to do, that's just going to go uh, and it's calculating what it can clean up there. And one other thing I would highly, highly recommend before you make any Right now, we really haven't done too much, uh, but before you make any uh, drastic system changes or go deleting any files and folders, what I would highly recommend is to create a system restore point. Um, I went ahead and did that already, but if if you want to know how to do that, go ahead and check out the video where, it's, uh, where I go over on how to enable system restore and how to create that restore point. But we'll just quickly go over it right now. Just do a right click again on the start button, open up control panel. I have the large icon view. Uh, some of you may have category view, but this is probably the best option to choose so I can break everything apart. Uh, go click on system. Go to the system protection option on the left hand side. And what you want is on the local disk drive, you want to make sure that it's on. If not, you can click on configure. Turn on system protection, click apply and OK. And then to create the system restore point, you simply just click on the create button. Name it something, whatever you want, maybe Windows update issues or uh, and then click create and it's going to once you get that a successful uh, dialog box go ahead and close it out just in case you have to re revert back to the uh, to the point before we make any changes so and uh, with the disk cleanup again once that's done just go ahead and click OK and you're going to get this uh, here where it says are you sure you want to permanently delete these files click yes and that's going to delete all the temporary internet files that we have stored on our system and it could be uh, fairly quickly or it may take a while depending on how many you have. So just click OK. Let's close out of that. So we have the tool. We have the uh, disk cleanup option. The next thing we can do is disable the uh, Windows firewall and also temporarily, uh, temporarily turn off our uh, antivirus program just to go ahead and run, in case that's blocking it, just to go ahead and rerun the Windows update service. So we'll do that by, again, doing a right click over the start button and click on... Uh, run. We want to run dialog box and just simply type in the word services.msc. Click OK. 
and when this comes up it's all the Windows services that are running just navigate down to the uh, Windows firewall option right here do a right click over it once you selected it go to properties and click on stop click OK close this out and what what we also want to do is turn off our antivirus our Windows Defender so go ahead and do a left click over the start button click on settings and once you're under settings go to update and security click on Windows Defender on the left hand side and where it says real-time protection just uh, put, put that on off and once that's uh, turned off go ahead and go to Windows updates and click on the check for updates to see if that resolved the issue that you were having uh, what you can also do is when you're under the uh, Windows update options you can go to advanced options and you can view your update history and you got the uh, latest updates here that were just recently installed and uh, you can actually uninstall them if, if you know which one is causing the issue you can click on uninstall updates and uh, let's just say this is the one that was causing it you know because it was just the recent it was just installed say today it had a date of 717 and um, all of a sudden you're starting to have the issue uh, go ahead and just do a right click over it and just say uninstall so you can actually uninstall some of the updates uh, manually also. So once we rerun that, if it uh, still doesn't fix the issue, I would recommend to just go ahead and turn that back on. So we're going to nav navigate back to services. Navigate down to the Windows firewall. Right click. And I can just click start here. Go to properties. Either way, click start. Click OK. Close it out. Navigate back to uh, Update and Security under Settings. Go back to Windows Defender, turn it back on, and then just close out of that. So um, once you disable that, again, rerun the Windows Update, and then turn everything back on. If it fixed it or if it didn't fix it, just go ahead and turn everything back on. That way you can stay protected. Uh, something else uh, we can do is stop the uh, Windows Update service altogether and the Background Intelligent uh, Transfer Service. Um, those are some of the things that allow our computer to communicate out to the internet and, and receive those Windows updates. So what we're going to do is a right click again over the start button to bring up our alternate start uh, menu. Once we do that, we want to click where it says command prompt admin. Select that option. And when you're here, and I'm going to again put all this in the description that way you can uh, copy it. And uh, what you want to type is net space stop space w-u-a-u-s-e-r-v hit enter and you'll get something like this and it should be successful and we're, and also n-e-t space stop space b-i-t-s enter if it's not started you may get this also if it's not if it's not running at all so that's that's fine but once we're here I'm gonna go back to my notepad and just uh, copy this Once we've stopped both of those services, let's do a right click again over the start uh, over the start button. Get the run dialog box, paste that. Just navigate to your local drive to the Windows uh, root folder and the software distribution folder. Click OK. And once you're here, let's go ahead and delete everything that's in here. You can do a Control A on your keyboard to highlight everything. And just hit delete. Hit continue. You may get an error message saying it's uh it's being that it's that the file is in use if you do get that I would recommend to restart the computer and then try it again so once everything's deleted in there go ahead and close that out and let's go ahead and restart both those services so to restart it it's net space start w u a u s e r v and net start bits so we stopped the service, deleted those uh, files and folders, um, and restarted the service again. So close out of that. You can just empty out your cycle bin. And the last, a couple more things we can do is um, we can delete the temporary files that are in our computer. To do that again, we bring up the run box. So you'll right click, run. And this time we're just going to type uh, percent. And then after that, we're going to type the word temp. And then percent and then okay and we're going to delete all our system temporary files that we have stored and we'll, 
and again, we can uh, hit a control A on the keyboard to highlight everything. And once you do that, just go ahead and click on delete and hit continue. And you may get this error message if you do, just check this box where it says do not, you know, do this for all current items. Say skip. You may get it again, just say skip for that. Stuff that it, that it may need to, uh, for the programs and certain things to run properly. So just delete what you can in there, close that out. And the last thing we're going to do is go to internet options. So let's do a right click again over the start button, go to control panel, and let's go to the internet options. Once we're here and we have this window open, what we want to go to is settings down at, towards the bottom right. And once we have this window open, go to view files. And once we're in here, again, control A on the keyboard, or you can simply just drag and highlight everything. Hit delete, delete all the cookies, close that out. Say okay here. And once we're back under the internet options, let's go to the, the advanced button and click reset. Delete personal settings. Click reset. It's going to reset your browser back to default settings. Hit close. And close that. And this is going to be a part one to this video because there's a lot more options that we have to get the Windows update to work properly. Uh, once once you do all this, what you can do after that is simply just restart the computer and uh, go ahead and try it again. Run the Windows update. If you're still having an issue, make sure to check out the part two to this video. And again, thank you for watching another Technology Made Basic video. If you found this video informative, just please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe buttons below. That way you can be alerted to any new content. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time.